Hi guys, just to give a brief overview of what we'll be covering today. So we'll be looking at the fundamentals of shear stress and also shear and bending uh, relationship for an I-beam. So, shear stress, uh, it's important to understand that it's different from tension stress that we normally deal with. Uh, it's the stress that makes an I-beam yield in shear. So here I have in blue the flanges and we can see that the shear stresses are quite low relative to the red which is the web we see we have quite high shear stresses now just to explain it mathematically so calculating the shear stresses um, we have the axial stresses at zero and we have here tau um, tau squared which is the yield strength in shear equal to the yield uh, tensile yield strength and what we end up with solving all that is that tau equals 0.58 Fy. If you look at AS4100 clause 5.11.4, 5 uh, 5 timesing this by the area of the web, we end up with a shear force because stress equals, uh, sorry, a force is a stress times an area. So that's how we get this relationship here. And Calculating the shear stresses, it's important to understand the theory. The calculations are relatively simple. So what I want to say is that the B on T is again the key parameter when calculating, sorry, the shear forces. I think I said shear stresses before. And the magic number is 82. If it's slender, uh, 